Okay, I'm back. And here is a problem I'm having with my Midnight Classic. And I think I know exactly what is wrong. A few weeks ago, I um, most likely <coughs> drive too much voltage into the PV input. And that shuts it down from taking any reading from the PV input or processing any PV voltage. I can only read what's on the battery. The PV input of discharge controller, both negative and positive are shorted together. And I believe I drive too much voltage into the input. Hence, close it down. So, I'm going to have to find a fix for it to put it back in service. Did some research, and I believe that the MOSFET. There are about eight MOSFETs inside there, and I believe a few of them probably are blown up. And they work in pairs, so most likely it might be two, four, or even six. It could be all of them. But strangely, except for the PV input part of it, everything is still working. Everything is still working. As you can see, there's no input reading, no wattage, no battery amps. All I'm reading is a voltage from the battery. And that gives me an indication that all is not lost. So, I'm gonna have to do some research, maybe open it to see exactly what um, <coughs> spec of MOSFET it's using and uh, take the chance and repair it and put it back in service shouldn't be too hard because I have indication here as exactly what is is wrong and um, um, I I think I will say maybe not a big issue, but um, I'll void the warranty and fix it because um, to send it back to repair, it's going to cost me more. Just to ship it out, it's going to cost me a heap of money. It's easier for me to order the MOSFET. And do the repair myself so that is my intention so I have a few weeks or days without service from discharge controller and um, yeah it would be nice to go into the belly of it and strip out everything and find exactly where the problem is it's an expensive charge controller, but um, sometimes when you send back stuff for repair, they're lost in flight. Can't get them back. I've done it before. Something went wrong with the processing of um, sending it back to repair. Never get it back. So, I'd rather keep it in my hand and send for the parts and fix it. So with that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep you posted and tell you exactly what is going on. And um, see if we can bring this, this big boy back into service. 
It's a good charge controller, can't afford to lose it. Let me just maneuver a little bit and show you that everything else is still working. Okay, so, as I tell you, that's the only thing, the input PV part, so I'll keep you posted. So, as we can see here, absolutely no reading on the PV input. On the PV input side of this charge controller, there is a dead short circuit positive and the negative of the PV input are shorted and that is because the PV input voltage exceeds the ratings of over 250 volts so that probably caused some damage inside other than that the functionality is pretty much the same except the PV input so I'm going to check it out and check those MOSFETs and see what is going on and uh, replace the MOSFETs and get this charge controller back in line okay so the cover is off and um, take the rest of it apart and um, replace those transistors at least two of them Okay, so here is the board. This is the power board, and I suspect there were two MOSFET that are giving trouble. But eventually, I pulled four of them out, and then I decided to change all of them. But um, just left that one in when I remember I have to check check the shot across the PV input so now I check the shot there's no shot there so four of these MOSFET they are the culprit and I have enough to um, to replace them those three and um, I'll just put another four in and that will fix it up so here are the 
four bad one that I checked and they uh, they're shorted. They shorted uh, right across the the Jane and the source. And they usually work in pairs anyway, so I, I suspect they were two bad ones or four bad ones. So tomorrow I'll put the others in and um, yes, these are the bad ones. Uh, but I'll replace the other seven or maybe I'll replace all of them. Just replace all of them. Yeah, 250, 250 volts at 64 amps. 250 volts at 64 amps and they can look at that they can take some power oh yeah so we're gonna replace that and then put this boot back in service yes as I said I drive too much PV input and, a, and right across the PV input there, there was a dead short circuit. So there's no way I could put, I could feed any power from the solar into this charge controller. And I suspect there were MOSFET problem. Because everything else work. Everything else work except that I know there was a dead shot. I decide I'm gonna make a go at it. So I'll have all this right here. So I gotta clean up that solder in there and replace that one. This one. These two, these two, right down the line. And that should bring my board back in service. So, tomorrow when I put it together, I'll let you know exactly what's going down. I'll keep you posted. Can I buy one day when I was making it? Uh -huh. Taking the shot, then you're gonna have to definitely reset the voltage. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're using 24 volts right now just, to, yeah. te just mm -hmm. to test it out, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll do it in the video. Mm -hmm. So it's back to normal, and um, should put it back together. To and Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, back to finish, finish. Oh, yeah.
put it back in service. Yeah.